everyone. This is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith. Um, I thought it might be fun to uh, do some card reviews um, in a video format. And the reason being that um, I think in a video format you get a much better idea of the, the thoughts of the reviewer. You know, when, when you're reading a forum post, you're reading sort of the, the, the final cut version. But there's sort of a journey that happens when you're looking at a card. And I think capturing that journey is um, fun and, and also gives you a better idea of someone's first impressions and maybe where they end up uh, sort of at the end. Um, I'm going to start reviewing cards in the poster cards here thread. Um, the reason being is that these people have asked for uh, reviews. Um, I, I'll be honest, I haven't checked, even though, even though it says I have, I haven't actually checked any of the, the recent cards here in quite a while. So these are all going to be first impressions for me. Um, and yeah, so let's get going. I'm going to start at the bottom just cause it's easier. Um, and we'll kind of go from here. So let's, let's, uh, see what we got here. The first card we've got is UN agreement. Uh, okay, let's let's read this. What he says here first. I made this card specifically for Commander. It's supposed to be. Let me actually zoom in here, make it a little bit easier to see on the on the screen, eh? All right. I made this card specifically for Commander. It's supposed to be like you can negotiate and make a treaty with your opponents. You both get stuff, get a buff to your guys, but you can't attack each other, like a peace treaty in real life. The reason that any player can destroy all of them is to stop stale game states, and that is where. Okay. So let's look at this card. You in agreement. One and two white, legendary enchantment. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. All right, so it's a legendary anthem. As long as an opponent controls an enchantment named you in agreement, creatures that player controls can't attack you. Okay, so if another player has this, uh, so players with you in agreement can't attack each other, basically. All right. Uh, choose an opponent. If that opponent agrees... That player creates a token copy of you in agreement. Activate this ability only as a sorcery. Okay, so you can pay three and say, hey, do you want to join the UN? And they can agree, and then they get this buff to their creatures, but then they can't attack you. Uh, four, destroy all enchantments named you in agreement. Activate this ability only as a sorcery. So you can blow up. Okay, this is an interesting card. Now... I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and um just right away say that I'm not a commander player. I'm not a multiplayer player. Um so it's going to be a little harder for me to judge cards that are made for multiplayer, but I think I can I can do my best here and kind of put myself in that position. So I know that there's definitely politics that happens in multiplayer. Um and this definitely plays off of that. Um now one thing to note is that any player that has you in agreement can ask any other player to join the agreement. So, yeah, I mean, I have to say this card's quite interesting. It's difficult for me to picture how this would actually play out in a game. Like, you know, he even, I, I could definitely see this going wrong where like everybody just ends up being in the UN and then there's like no game to play, which is why, you know, he's got, He's got this uh, this ability to just to destroy it, and again, any player can activate this. So you know, maybe maybe that's not an issue, but um, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I think this card has is pretty interesting. I, like, there's definitely some tension there. I like the fact that anybody can destroy, can like just break the agreement for everybody. Um, it's kind of neat that anybody can ask anybody else to join the UN. Um, I think this is a cool card. I, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I, I, I don't know if I can see all the angles because I don't play multiplayer, so um, so uh, I can only kind of go off of what I imagine would happen. But I like this card. I mean, I think it's costed fine. Like, you know, it's not like these abilities make the like, the card need to cost more. I mean, you need to pay for these things anyway. Um, I guess it's worth mentioning that only people who are playing white can uh, can invite others to the UN. So I guess I guess 
I have to go back on what I said. Not not everybody can ask another player to join the UN. It's only people who have white mana. Um, but still, so anyway, I, I I like this card. If I had to give this a grade on a scale of one to five, I would probably give this card a four. Um, I, I'll be, uh, you know, and, and I'm kind of doing that for personal preference reasons. I mean. I, uh, you know, I, as, as well as many other gamers, play Magic to, or play play any game, really, to sort of escape reality in, in some, in some you know, so at least some, um, that's one of the reasons, right, why you play games, especially fantasy games, right? So the fact that this is a game based off of, like, reality, um, and not in sort of a fantastical world, I think is is a hit against it for me personally. That's probably not going to be the same for everybody. Um, like I would probably prefer this this card if it was if it was you know something like um, you know if it was if it was something having to do with like creating an alliance or something like that, which you know in, in sort of a fantasy setting. But regardless, I, I like this card. I think I give it a four out of five. I think this is this is a, a really, pretty cool design, and this is by Spybot Plays. So that's my review of you and agreement. All right, let's let's move on here to oh boy, what do we got here? Toby Fox the Annoying Dog. Okay, this is a Silver Border card, so this is clearly a joke. Um, okay, this is white, white, blue, blue, four mana for a one one. Okay, not a great start, but let's see what happens. Legendary creature, Monster God. Okay. It certainly doesn't look like it. Uh, whenever a player says the name of this card, create a token copy of this card. Oh, boy. Legendary rule doesn't apply. Okay. Exile X Toby Fox. Gain control of target non-land permanent with X mana convent. I think he means mana value. Mana value X. If you do run away from its controller like a dog, oh boy. Uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I get what you're trying to do here with this one. Um, this one doesn't really capture me, honestly. I have to say, like, first of all, whenever a player says the name of this card. Okay, look, even though this is a joke card, it should still play like a magic card, and you should still be able to play it in a game of magic, okay? This card doesn't really do that. I mean, basically, I could play this card and just say, Toby Fox the Annoying Dog, Toby Fox the Annoying Dog, Toby Fox the Annoying Dog, Toby Fox... I could say this a million times and create a million copies of this card, and then all this extra stuff doesn't actually matter, like exiling X Toby Fox. Like, why would I ever do that? I could just create a million of these and attack... It's like a Splinter Twin. If I untap with Toby Fox, uh, well, I, sorry, I'd have to play Toby Fox and create a million of them, and then untap, and I could just kill everybody. So, and, and it's actually worse than that, because every instance of Toby Fox creates its own instance. So, you say Toby Fox the Annoying Dog once, you get another one. You say it twice, you get four. You say it you know, you say it doubles every time, or no, it, sorry, it's um, exponential growth, I believe. Yeah, because then you get 16. Is that right? Um, not exactly sure on the math about that. The point is, it, it grows pretty fast. You don't even need to say it a million times. So, like, that whole... So, basically, when you play this card... You can take control of every single permanent in the game and then kill everybody. Uh, yeah, okay, I, 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 I don't like this card. I don't like this card at all. I mean, uh, like I said, it, I get that this is a joke card, but this is basically just a card that ends the game on the spot. With you, with you as the winner. Like, why would anybody want to play with against somebody that's playing this card? It's just, it's not, it's not a fun card. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, 
I, I'm sorry. I, I have to give this card a, a low grade. I have to give this card a one out of, a one out of five. I just it's just not this is just not a real card um, and again i get that it's joke but even joke cards need to be real magic cards all right so moving on um 